Jacob's syndrome, or the XYY syndrome, is caused by a genetic mutation during the creation of a male's genetic code XY. Findings do not suggest Jacob's syndrome is hereditary in nature, but a random occurrence. This error may occur during the formation of sperm or during the initial phases of embryo formation. Symptoms of Jacob's syndrome include, but are not limited to, delayed motor skill, difficulties with speech, hypotonia, or weak muscle tone, attention difficulties, and often taller than average height. Diagnosis typically doesn't occur until adulthood as decreased sperm count may, but not always, affect fertility. Jacob's syndrome is not a curable disease, placing an emphasis of treatment on limiting the effects of symptoms. Common therapies include those of speech, occupational, and educational therapy. As the symptom adversely affects muscle, motor, and cognitive development, the stated therapies can help reinforce development that does not come organically. It's equally important to note that Jacob's syndrome or the XYY syndrome does not necessarily or always affect quality of life as some afflicted with the illness live normal lives without diagnosis. In short, Jacob's syndrome is remarkably unimpactful on the normal quality of life, almost akin to those of a human unaffected by genetic mutation. Again, roughly one out of 1,000 males are born with Jacob's syndrome, making it a more common variety of genetic abnormality. This syndrome was initially studied in the 1960s as the accidental finding of subject Avery Sandberg, a man of average health and intelligence who tested his karyotype as a response to his daughter, recently diagnosed with Down syndrome. Scientists found quickly that X chromosomes devoid of female sex chromatin bodies provided a sure way to determine whether there was an inadvertent duplication of the Y gene.